Hi, I just wanted to uh, pop in and tell you about um, an anniversary I just celebrated and an interesting one as well. This week, it's been 700 days since I've had a drink, as in a drink of alcohol. Can you believe that? Me neither, really. I, um, I, I'm not necessarily counting, though. I, I had a counter on some website I was on, so I just popped in and saw it the other day and thought, wow, that's... Uh, that's quite an achievement really, especially from someone like me who really used to like to have a drink and didn't really believe that life could be fun without it. And almost sometimes I still kind of think, yeah, Christmas and birthdays coming up. Do I really want to do that without a drink? You know what? You can do it and you can enjoy yourselves. So I just wanted to make some suggestions. If you are considering um, taking a break, then there are there are things you can do that don't include changing your state with then um, necessarily a, a drug, whether that's alcohol or coffee or whatever your drug of choice might be. Um, so let's just think about some things that you might do. Meditation is really popular and that can definitely change your state. It might not be something that you're completely confident in yet and me neither, still figuring it out, but I do find it very relaxing and just takes me to another place. So number one, consider meditation. Virtual reality. Now, I mentioned this one because I bought a headset for Al, my husband, and I tested it and I thought it was such a lot of fun. It actually transported me to a different world and I was laughing my ass off. I just felt like, like I'd had a drink or like I'd done something different. So those headsets are really cheap. And it's um, if, if you've got a smartphone, you just plug it in and uh, load up the roller coaster or whatever it is. So give it a try. I found that really good fun. What about going to the movies? I love going to the movies and just transporting myself into another world. Now, I know lots of people watch DVDs and uh, streaming at home, but I will say to me, there's nothing like being in a movie theatre and getting that atmosphere among people who you're surrounded by who are in the same experience as you. So see what's going on, what blockbusters are out or whatever it is that takes your fancy. Take a hot bubble bath. This is one of my favourites or an Epsom salts bath is also one of my favourites. And uh, I also will tie this in with my next one, which is reading. I often will read a book while I'm in the bath. So let's call uh, the next uh, top 10 of things to relax without having a drink or a drug. Um, reading. So read some fiction. Transport yourself into another world. There's nothing like it. Uh, what about um, binge watching a TV series? What is it that you've been thinking about watching for ages and have not done it? Why not give that a try? When you've got some time, maybe you've got some holiday coming up or a weekend, just load it up and just allow yourself to be in somebody else's world. Because although we talk about the unconscious not knowing the difference between what's real and what's imagined, it can figure out that you're actually just watching fiction and you can switch off and then get back into your own life afterwards. What about decluttering? That's what, again, another one of my favourites. If I'm feeling stressed, I just want to feel completely different. Go through a drawer, go through my clothes, look at whether I've got anything I can, um, I can get out of the way. And not just getting rid of things that you don't need, but actually looking at things that no longer suit you, that are no longer fitting in with your life. And it might be that someone else could really benefit from something that you are no longer using. So you're helping someone else out, maybe give it to the Goodwill or a charity and you're clearing some space. And finally, one of the things I like to do, which you may have never considered, but I recommend this, do some baking. There's a reason why all those um, great British Bake Off and American baking show, all those shows are really popular right now because people are finding that getting a load of ingredients together and creating something that comes out of your oven is incredible. It's a very creative process. It's very therapeutic. I will often go in the kitchen and put something on the computer, maybe an old Star Trek episode, and just potter around. And then the smell of the kitchen is so wonderful. And you get something at the end of it. Well, also, you also get a bit of washing up, but hey, that's no big deal. It's worth it if you bake yourself a fabulous cake or whatever it is you like. So there's just a few things you can do instead 
of actually intoxicating yourself with something if you enjoy a drink good for you that's great and uh, if there's other ways you find relaxing please let me know in the comments i'd love to know we're always looking for things that we can do to take us into a different place just for a break and uh, here's my suggestions